I'm Lucy Jennings from The Creativity Patch. Come along with me and let's have some fun. People often ask me, how much yarn do I need to cut off for weaving? You don't want too much because as you weave through back and forth, the yarn gets pulled on and after a while it wears it out. And you don't want it too short because you don't want to be starting over with all kinds of threads hanging out that need to be sewn back in. So I'd say, oh, about a yard and a half, two yards is good. Now, after I thread the yarn through the eye of the needle, when I weave, I just let it hang down like this. But you know, especially for kids and for beginners who are just learning to weave, it's probably easier to tie a little knot in the end. You can tie another double knot if you'd like, but this will probably hold well enough. It's time to start weaving. What you want to think in your head is over, under, over, under. I go over the first warp thread, then under the next one. Over, then under. Over, then under. Over, under, over, under, all the way across. I find it easier if I put my finger down on the warp thread that I want to go over. It kind of pushes it down a little bit. When you pull the weft thread through, you'll want to leave a few inches of the weft thread hanging because later on we're going to be sewing it back in to our woven piece. Now when I pack it down, I don't want to pack it down too tightly. If we pulled it tightly, what would happen is after we get weaving for a while, it's going to start pulling in on the sides because we're not letting it just rest down in between the warp threads. So you want to make sure it's resting in between each warp thread. Now there's different ways to do that. Everybody has their favorite. Some weavers like to make little hills. So they take their weaving needle and you kind of make little hills like this. After you make the hills, you beat it down. You could use a fork if you'd like, just a plain old table fork. There's also beaters you can purchase. But to tell the truth, when I'm weaving on my little loom, I mostly just use my fingers. Now it's a little bit sloppy there, so I am going to pull it and do it again. Now we're going to return. So we want to be sure to look and see how we ended that row. We went under. So on the return, we're going to go over. You want to know why? What if I didn't? What if I just went, okay, under, over, under, over, all the way across? What would happen? Let's just see. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Weaving is so much fun. Ah! Look what happened. It all went away because I didn't go back over when I returned. So we'll just start over. Remember, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way across. Leave some of the weft thread hanging. And here's my favorite way. I like to just keep the weft thread at a diagonal and I bead it down with my fingers as I go across. That way it kind of lays itself in. You can choose your favorite way. Now I went under, so on the return I'm going to go over that warp thread. Now here is something very crucial to remember when you're weaving. 
It's kind of the weaver's secret. We want to pull just enough so that that weft thread goes around that end warp thread. If I pulled it too tight, don't pull me so tight, don't pull me so tight. See how it's coming in here? That means that as I weave, it's going to keep coming in and in and in, and that won't be so nice. So we want to be very careful on the return to just pull it just enough to leave a tiny bit of leeway there. Now, if you aren't perfect at it right away, don't worry. Just keep weaving and you'll get better and better. Now I'm keeping my finger on the edge here so when I pull it through, I don't pull it too tight by mistake. That's kind of a good habit to have. And now I'll beat it down. And we're ready to return. I try to make it as even with the um, weft thread that was row that was right before that. Now you might find it easier to go back and forth towards the top. I don't always remember to, but it's a little easier because there is more space between the warp thread and the loom at the top. Now when I pack it down, I want to cover up the warp threads. Your first couple of rows won't do a very good job of it, but as you go, you'll see as you pack it down, it will start filling in and covering up the warp threads. You don't have to cover up the warp threads, but for this weaving, I want to. If you'd like to learn more about weaving, subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out my website, The Creativity Patch. There's lots more things to learn there, and I've got some really fun weaving kits. See you there, and happy weaving!